Welcome to the Smoke Podcast. All right, y'all. Welcome well, to another woo. another episode of the, the Smoke, Smoke Podcast. I know, man. I'm sorry. You too. Y'all see what they did right here? <laughs> <laughs> I came in, and that's my microphone over there that, that I guess is using. So we will be changing. Kimberly, you upgraded. You, no, you, you, you are upgraded. No, you are upgraded. we want to see more of you. This some BS if I ever get you speak. We just, we just want to see more of you. That's all that, it is. I don't care what y'all. Y'all see how I'm having to talk. <laughs> Been all down. I can't even sit upright. You can't sit upright. I don't want this job no more. <laughs> don't That's say what's that. gonna happen. Don't say that, kid. We Come already in, in negotiations, and this gonna be changed. Y'all <laughs> see this foolishness? <laughs> Come on, Kim. Come on, come on. Come well, you come better on. get you a good lawyer. This is how the real Lazar, the real uh, Lazar, the smoke podcast is going down. <laughs> oh man, Kim. So, Kimberly, where did, where did you go this well weekend? Last week. Last week, where'd you go? Oh, I was in Nashville. Oh, I thought you went somewhere. Uh, she did. I thought you went somewhere. We she went did. to New Orleans. We went oh, to the NO. That ain't nowhere to end. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Every we, we went to we went to New Orleans. We had a ball. New Orleans it didn't owe like us it. nothing. It looked like y'all had a ball. I mean, and you know, um, other than the Raiders not showing up for the game at all. Oh, I they, saw your post, Isaac. Yeah. I took sympathy on you. Yep. <laughs> and did send you a text message. Everybody's like, is Ike okay? I was like, yeah, yeah, I What was the score? I was in New Orleans. I had a, a drink in my left hand, a cigar in my right. <laughs> but Isaac, <laughs> and I was what was tight. the score? What was the score? 24 to zero. zero. Dang. Hey, they, they, didn't go to, they didn't get off the bus. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. You should have just came to Nashville with me. That's what you should be. <laughs> You, you we know, had a great hey. time. Thank you, Linda, for my trip pre last birthday, whatever, whatever. You still and, celebrating your birthday? I mean, wait a minute, that was October. It, it, it's November now. No, no, no September. 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 <laughs> oh hell, you two. Hey, if y'all still sending Kimberly birthday, <laughs> hey, uh, she getting over. Hey, hey, she getting over, yeah. y'all. If y'all still sending her September, shit in September, y'all. September. Yeah. Well, listen, that's when From we September. went. We went to see the MJB, and I'm not mad about it. We had a good time. What's that's the MJB? Mary, Mary J. J. Mary J. Blige. Blige. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she pulled out. Did she do a dance? Yeah, she went on broke out, and she said, "Let me go on to get this out the way." It was so funny the way she incorporated because Mary like this. She's su then she's super thick now, so oh, it's hard to get the big yeah. ass legs up. It was a good show. It was a good show. Nashville. Oh, had a she put vibe. A, she put a, she put on a show now. Yeah, I enjoyed myself. Yeah, we had a good time. Show. It was a great mean, time. Yeah, we had a good. You know, we we uh, uh, took the train down to New Orleans. Did y'all? Which was you know it was about an extra hour. But dude was rolling on the trip. Yeah. Everyone. So so I opened up my my way. Zap, because I'm mm -hmm. trying to figure out how fast we going. Mm -hmm. We was doing 80. Oh, on the train. On the train. Oh. So I uh, only so, on the straightaway. Yeah, only on the straightaway. So we we <laughs> got don't the train. Get the man in trouble. Uh -huh. I said, bro, how fast are y'all driving? He said, uh, 79. I said, no. I said, I saw 80, and and then the guy next he to me said, said, I saw 81. He said, well, you trying to snitch? Right. <laughs> he <laughs> said, you, you want to slow down? To be. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, nah, I want y'all to speed up. Shit, mm. And then we hit, once we hit Jackson, we, me and Faith looked, we was like, oh, man, we're going to get there early. Mm -mm. We sat there for 40, mi <laughs> 40 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> and then, you know, what the bad thing about it, you sit there for 40 minutes. If your ass hungry, you just going to starve because they ain't shit. Oh, yeah, I, I just think that that's, really? that's a, that is a missed opportunity. I think at every Amtrak station, a food truck, they should no, have even, a. Even they, no, they, you, know, you can have a motherfucker selling links or something. No, uh, uh, Kimberly had a good idea. If you had somebody pull up in a, a food, food truck, truck, oh yeah, man, man. just right there because then you can go, you can shoot, you can uh, right there while the train's there. Mm -hmm. When the train leaves, you can go someplace and else. And you could prepay, like if you know you want to get, you know. Go ahead and make some kind of arrangement with that food some truck. Signs. You're welcome, um, Amtrak. That'll be 19.95, by the way. <laughs> for that information. For that information. Yeah, just go ahead and partner with a food truck and take some pre-orders. Do something. Do something. Oh my because God, Kimberly, I'm, I'm I'm having to look at you in the uh, monitor. Uh -huh. We can see all your beautiful face today. We can not see all. <laughs> oh my boy. God, damn boy, that look good. You lay. Put that back on. There you go. Now take what your you hand doing? down. What you doing? She praying. Mm. That, she what did a nail. No, she trying to show her nails off. <laughs> 
<laughs> Natural nail girl, y'all. Get her. However get y'all want to take it. <laughs> I hate this. Oh. Natural <laughs> nail now, now, girl. Now, now. Here, here's, here's the thing we always got to know. Did you did you smoke anything in that? I did. I took pictures and everything. Oh, what she you did. Uh-huh. What you smoke? Oh, wait. It's on my app. <laughs> uh, I forgot she got the new app. So mm-hmm. my, my, myself and Fabian, we went to the uh, the cigar. What was the it? Roll. Oh, yeah, the roller got in the We were a little mm. fucked up when we got there. So. Yeah. I bet. Yeah. Both Y'all look like it. Yeah, we, we gone. <laughs> we had a good time. Actually, I just smoked a uh, Cohiba Blue. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cohiba Blue. Because I only had one. We stopped at one cigar place. It, now, what you do not do in, in New Orleans is buy a cigar on a damn strip. You did that? Hell no. No, we, oh. we had our own cigars. We we went and got a a, a, a Lancero a rolled at the uh, place over in the French Quarter. Uh-huh. But that was it. But yeah, you walked in. Me and Fabian, we walked in just to see. Like a, a Cohiba mm-hmm. was like $32. Oh, yeah, what? Man, shit, yeah. Man. They got some extra That's tax highway that robbery shit. down there in New Orleans. <laughs> 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 and then, you know, everybody, every time you, because, you know, pretty much everything in New Orleans is cashless now. Uh-huh. I mean, oh, just about everything. You can, the little dudes is beating on their drums. You can cash out them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, you gonna sit your ass down. They said y'all ain't gonna get them so much. Y'all ain't got no cash. <laughs> but I tell you what, everybody got a hustle, though. Dude, yeah. man, it's hustle right. man down there, man. Yeah, because, yeah. like, when we walked to the game, you know, you you saw the kids out, you know, asking for money. I don't mm-hmm. want to use the word begging because they, they were asking. They were, they were hustling. They were hustling. They were hustling. And they had, you know, you could tell the kids that were successful versus the ones that wasn't. So we walked past this one little uh, round kid. He was sitting. He had him a clear bottle. What was his hustle? Just asking for money? He was just asking for money. Oh. But then you kept on going, and we ran to these kids that was uh, on some football team. Mm-hmm. At the very least, they had on a jersey. They, a had, real their, helmet. they had their real helmet. Yeah. And they had dollars in their helmets. Uh-huh. So, you know, I, I just... You know, I, I, me and Fabian, we looked and we said, yeah, you're not going to be successful. But these guys right here, <laughs> you know. And then if you stop long enough, everybody's got a story. Oh, my God. Uh, everybody's, everybody's got a story. Got a story. Everybody Y'all got look a story like two to faces tell. that people want to talk to. That's so interesting. I know. Well, you know, they, I had all his Raider shit on. So. Okay, of course, they had to give him mad, like, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Raider Nation. Uh. I mean, I was like, yeah, damn. Okay. I almost wanted to put one on just so I can like, high five some motherfuckers. <laughs> now, you know, when you go to the game, you're supposed to, you know, when in Rome, do as the Romans No, do. we had, we had, you know what? You know what? I did when we went to Oak. When we went to Oakland, the game in Oakland, I was like, Ike, give me some of your Raider shit because we're going to tailgate. Why I got it? Why I just can't be Raider gear? You why you got to say Raider shit? <laughs> man, y'all so can't compliment. <laughs> well, I guess when we go to Chicago, we got to hey, wear Chicago uh, shit, right? Yeah, exactly. Right. Shit. Yeah, I don't, but I don't expect you to wear it. You're going to wear your Raider shit. Because I know ain't what? got no Chicago shit. You know what? You're going to wear, you wear your what you call it. Your, don't you have, um uh, what's the dude that, that we got? Cleo Mac. Uh, Cleo Mac. You got a Mac. Mac jersey. Is Max still play for y'all? No, he don't. But oh, okay. Hey, it's associated. <laughs> uh, Terrible. <laughs> okay. Terrible. I went around with it. Yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah. It's what okay. It you tried. You, you missed. I, I <laughs> missed, but you, you tried shit. to make the connection. You it tried. was a connection. I mean, I mean shit. it's a stretch, but you, you, you tried. <laughs> but he gonna walk in with his Raiders shit on. Because mm-hmm. he Chicago. not gonna put on no Chicago. Yeah, yeah, like, no, I don't expect uh, him to. Okay. I'm surprised he got on their hat today. Why? Because y'all suck. Y'all suck. I'm st- okay. <laughs> 20, so, okay, so I should not wear my hat because we lost. Nah, I'm just Nah, I know. We I'm know you're going to wear it through the football season when it's over with. And yeah. after the season, though? No, nah, nah, last nah, time, last you, time you took all that stuff off. Yeah, all that shit came out. All the whole uniform. And then went you were like, well, I got on my my, my, my case on my right, phone. Right, yeah, on my car. <laughs> <laughs> That's the direction you went in last time. We can only go off what you did last year. This is true. But you know what? Mm-hmm. We all had a good time. All had a good weekend. That's what I counts. I hope y'all that did, was. too. We, we, had a, we had a ball. And, you know, I, I, I be what, I'll tell you this. Raider fans are some of the best fans I've seen because they they like the I cowboy mean, fans. Th- no, no, no. Okay, no, they're not no. crazy. They, they, like after it. we lost, everybody was humble. It wasn't nobody. You still had the well, people I mean, you saying had no, Raiders. You, you can't you help. No but choice. you had no choice. Y'all got your ass whipped. <laughs> it wasn't even a good game. Right. <laughs> Y'all was like, "Woo, when this we had game a good gonna time. be over." Well, I mean, but you no, know, they they like you know Raider for life. Blah 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 blah. It mm-hmm. ain't none of that shit. You know, you talk to a cowboy. Man, fuck you, goddamn it, shit. <laughs> man, we check this shit out. You know, <laughs> <laughs> damn, okay, man, shit. Oh, they, they don't take it personal. They don't take it personal. Okay. <laughs> they 
it's like, hey, yeah, we lost shit. Mm-hmm. I'm not, black act, and silver, act motherfucker. Like you've yeah. been here before. Exactly. That's right. it. That's okay. So, so Kimberly, so we we down in uh, New Orleans, and mm-hmm. you know, I didn't know. I've known Fabian for over twenty years, mm-hmm. but I didn't. I never knew how much he likes Bloody Marys. <laughs> I saw y'all Bloody Mary man, picture. That shit was good, man. I have never. I, I and tried. the bad thing, I used to didn't like them. Why you like them so? I don't know. It's like I, it's like I older my taste, but I mean, shit, I'm drinking, we drinking, drinking scotch. We I used drinking to like medicine. that shit. We yeah. drinking medicine. Nice. <laughs> when you get older, your taste buds change. Right. And I used to never like um, um, V8. Oh, yeah. I still don't like V8, but you put some vodka, vodka in it. Vodka in it and a <laughs> celery. Oh, no. It just changes. So, so I, think, I, think, I think Fabian had three Oh, Bloody that's Marys. why y'all was effed up. The okay. first one was, he said it was yeah, all right. It, no, it was terrible. Yeah, the she second did one was, was at the game. Was at the game. That shit was off the hook, man. Mm-hmm. You had a bloody Mary she, at the she, game. She had, she had shrimp. She had three shrimp, big she shrimp. Had not, bacon. Not, she had prawns in that bitch. Yeah. Beach. And she had bacon, celery, of course. Wait, is this food? Yeah. All that shit. In the Bloody in Mary. In the Bloody oh, Mary, okay. boy. It's like you you drink the Bloody Mary, got your buzz. Soup. <laughs> 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 then you eat. Shit, it was a meal. Okay, okay. So no, it was it was it was it was really good. And then we had another one at uh um, that, that was the most expensive drink you bought. Yeah, it was like thirty two dollars. Thirty two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> he paid for that damn meal. <laughs> She <laughs> said, "Give you some potatoes." And she say, "You have all the fixes you want." I said, "I hope so." <laughs> shit, for thirty dollars. <laughs> shit, I should be. Eating. But, but you know what? I, I, I was surprised in New Orleans that the drinks were actually affordable because I think I had a uh, I had an old fashioned made with one of those machines. Mm-hmm. It was all right. Mm-hmm. It was just it was just all right. Mm-hmm. But then I had a uh, double vodka and uh, pineapple juice. And it was the bomb, and and it wasn't but fifteen bucks. I mean, yeah, you know, to me this that was a reasonable tell, cost. That's how you can tell they rich. It wasn't but <laughs> it wasn't. Re- it ain't, yeah, that was a hey. hey we going been out to New Orleans. Hey, we got our tickets. Yes. We got our tickets for free. Mm-hmm. You know, so shit, we okay. won. Okay. And we, we ate all we had to do was, was <laughs> Fabian slept the whole way down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so we shit. was good. We got a partner, right? Mm-mm. I mean, but that's shit, all. He that's, put on his damn headphones and was gone. Yeah, oh, okay. I mean, was, shit. So y'all watched, was calling up all the hogs. Yeah, I was. Man. On the train. Yeah. Shit, we had a good time. Mm-hmm. But Don't anyway, you go put some kind of strip cross your nose. Man, when fuck you go, that strip. When you go out of town, when you on, <laughs> when you out in public. See, the real reason I had my headphones on because Fabian snores so damn loud. Man, shit. <laughs> you know what? The lady, the, the lady that was sitting across from me because Fabian sat next to the window going down, and he was and he was snoring, and the lady looks next to me. And she was like, and I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I can't hear. <laughs> She's like, can you tap him? Can you can you tap him for me, please? No, because I can hear it. I wasn't tapping nobody. Yeah, well, that's was, what she was asking. That's probably you. what she was asking, but right. I couldn't do nothing can for her. Can you tap that man and ask him <laughs> to stop? Anyway, anyway, you know what? Mm-hmm. It's going to be another great show. Always. You know what? You know what? Called in a favor. You did? I said, hey, right, call your boy. Who is he? He called him. He said, well, you know, I can't. I mean, you know, my busy schedule, man. You know, oh, he I got so him. much shit going on okay. that, you know, I had to do this shit. Now, let me let me, let me get with he my said, people. I'm going to get with you. Like, I'm going to get, get back I'm with I'm going to get my people. Let get your, your people get your, my people and my people get with your people. Is that situation? Man, I was like, yeah, damn. This Not the people. They a mayor or some shit? They need a councilman <laughs> or some shit? Not what the, the entourage. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. I just thought of a question that I got for our guests. I'm not going to say his name yet. We're going to take a break. I'm like, what you what you? Do get a uh, rattle. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, damn, yeah, man, special shit you need, man. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I got anyway, a question. Anyway, nah. We come back. We'll have a uh, special guest for you guys. I don't see his personal assistant. Is she here today? Uh, mm-hmm. I, she, he probably made her stay in the car. Oh, okay. She's watching the car. You know, we are in North <laughs> yeah. Memphis. All right, <laughs> <laughs> uh, y'all. We'll be right back with more Smoke Podcast. All right, y'all, we are back <laughs> with our special guest. Real special. Daryl Cobbins. What's up, man? Mr. What's Memphis. his name? What's his name? Daryl Cobbins. Daryl Cobbins. C O B B. I N S. Okay. Y'all chopping up their mind now. Like, what is that? Daryl Cobbins. Daryl, what's going on, man? What's up? What's up? I'm glad to be here. Oh, Thank man. We've we, 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 we been trying to get you for a while, man. You know, yeah, we had man. to get with your people and all that shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> we got that now, Google, now Google, Google Assist. Babe, no, no. What, what they're not disclosing to you is. Mm. Okay, Barry. <laughs> yeah, show you right. Show you right. <laughs> Fabian will hit me up at 10 o'clock at night. Uh-huh. So can you come on tomorrow? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That and was here I am. Well, no, the, I, I had I had set the platform, and, yeah. and he said, "Yeah." He said he was going out of town. Yeah. Whatever week I asked him, mm-hmm. he said, "Just hit me up." So right. that doesn't sound complicated. I'm just glad so here we are. I'm glad yeah. we. Uh, I'm glad you we. You know here. what? You know how they. Hey, you know what? When you known somebody for a while, you should be able to just pick up the phone. Hey, man, can you be at the studios? Oh, so yeah. Daryl is and, one of those people we have known. Exactly. We have known for a long time. Just yeah. that man like, got a schedule, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, he'll he move in shake up. Plus, right. plus no. you know, are you still on MLGNW's thing? Nah. Uh-uh. Oh, dang. That yeah. was my question, too. Yeah. yeah. We're still going to ask the question. What was you finna ask him? What did you think about uh, uh, the chief from the city taking over MLGNW? You know, um, precedent had been set for something like that before. Like That's true. Joseph Lee went down. Uh, Not went down. The city, uh, went down to MLGW from the city when mm-hmm. he was the city CFO. Jerry Collins was director of public yeah. works. Harrington sent him down there. So, you know, generally it's the mayor's prerogative. You know, yeah. in terms who he sent down there. Who wants to go down there. Uh, his COO, a guy named Doug, Doug McGowan. McGowan. Doug McGowan. Mm-hmm. So, um, well, you know. I think he, I think he'll be okay. Uh, mm. As long as he don't touch none of the knobs and adjust anything, <laughs> just let the ship stay on the course. See, I thought it should have been my boy Randy. I mm. think he'd been perfect for it. Um, <laughs> see, Randy didn't want all that responsibility. <laughs> no, son. You don't want Randy on the front page of commercial. <laughs> <laughs> I told that motherfucker. <laughs> Man, I know Randy 20, 20 plus years. I'm thir- almost 30 years. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Randy would have been professional. Oh yeah, because oh, when you hey, he been professional when you show up down there at MLGNW, Randy have his suit on, mm-hmm. he walking around like he running things. So that's what I, that's to me that's hey, that's the hey, number he one. Been all right until you checked him, mm-hmm. and you came at him. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, so this guy was the COO for the city of for the city, city of Memphis. Yeah. So I, I don't know if you watched is during he, the COVID period. It was it was it, a white guy with a bald head. Okay, well you know what's been happening. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. Anyway, I know what's been happening. Darren, what's been going there, on, so. man? Man, just glad to be here, man. I um, well, they had to ban you, so we happy you came. I'm <laughs> glad to be here. <laughs> they said, I'm just, I know. I'm just telling you what they said. Uh, but I got a birthday coming up on Monday, so. I'm oh, happy, happy birthday, man! We got happy we early early birthday. Birthday. we gonna toast to you, man. We gonna toast to you. Give me some, dog. Boom. The big five oh. Oh yeah. Five-0. Oh, okay. Man. All of us already in that club. Yeah, <laughs> man. Well, what you gonna do? Man, I'm just gonna take it easy and just kinda go with the flow of the day. So you yeah. know I'm Yeah, I'm sure wife and wife and son, mama. they I'm sure they got Absolutely. extra plans for you. They're gonna surprise yeah, the big you. Big five I'll say it. I don't want any surprises. I no. just wanna be able to methodically hang out with my mama, see, typically, go hang out with my friends. Typically just when you say you don't want any you really and then when you wake up, you look around right? like, okay, where, where, where is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the Celtics played the Grizzlies that night. So I'm oh. thinking about uh, I'm thinking oh, about that as the, you know, the end point for the evening. So. That'd be yeah. that'd be a good one right that'd there. Be a good that'd, one. Be a good that'd be a good game. If especially if you're sitting down low, you can order them drinks and have them bring them to you. <laughs> oh man. Right. Hey, it might, man, all... you're so big time, they're gonna put you on the Jumbotron. Man. Happy birthday. This 5-0 has been it's almost felt like a looming deadline <laughs> all looming. year. Like, no, it on is. that day, I'll turn 50. You know. hey, what are you, but, what but are you look, expecting to happen? Uh, nothing you, magical. Right. Just I may get an AARP card in the mail. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you ain't got your AARP? No, I, I, want, those, yeah, I want those brothers, discounts, man. Brothers, listen, y'all need to get y'all AARP cards. They, they have major discounts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everywhere you go, you pop that little red card out and don't be ashamed. Bam, don't be ashamed. That's what I'm looking for. You know I'm what? I was I was watching something on the uh, to, on uh, the Today Show and they talked about uh, discounts and stuff that younger people can get. Younger people are signing up for AARP, uh, mm. AAA. I mean, stuff that you know typically you. It's when you get older, mm. you get a family, you start doing this stuff. 
But because of the discounts and because of the economy and stuff, yeah. you got more and more younger people. And, and believe it or not, there is no age to get an AARP card. There's no age. Oh, I thought it was no. 50. Yeah, I it's not. I thought you had to be 50. No, it's not. No, I don't know. No, it's no, there's no age. You uh, finna get a card. Look at our assistant. Though. Already Production know. assistant over there. You, like, know, yeah, yeah. you know what AARP stands for, Yeah. Right? No, exactly. I don't. What is American Association, Association of, of Retired, retired people. Per people, Persons. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So... We on our way 20, to retire. 25 years old. It's interesting, but mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I'll let you know when discounts. my car comes in. I'm, so I'm looking forward to it. You're going to enjoy it. Just rip it on that. So, yeah. so Daryl, what you doing with yourself these days, man? Man, um, <clears throat> still doing commercial real estate. Um, 21 years in the game now. Uh, 15 as an entrepreneur. So I'm really, really proud of that as a, yeah. a third generation real estate professional. My grandfather had a company for 50 years. Right. And my mother worked for him. And she came to work for me when I started my company. So that's been really rewarding. Uh, but still doing, you know, a lot of civic activity, um, involved with the Brooks Museum, involved with the Civil Rights Museum. Are you uh, on the board? The yeah. Civil Rights Museum? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great Freedom Awards two weeks ago. Yeah, Thank you. I saw you yeah. and the wife in there, yeah. Holly in and kicking Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah, Falling yeah. out. Yeah. I, you know, I, I must say that's that's one of my big events that I love contributing to. And, I mean, I have a ball. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's hell Baby getting didn't even, there. You know it's what? I meant to mess there. with you about that. What? You been on a whole suit. I mean, you got to show you up, You look man. nice. I ain't never seen you wearing a whole suit on. <laughs> Suited and booted. <laughs> now, you might have on a dress shirt or something. Well, have you even seen you in that? No. Okay. It was nice to see you. It was nice to see the change. <laughs> anyway. This is Clark Kent on every yeah, now. Yeah. Every once in a while, you got to look professional. You, know, you did. You did a good job. I, 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 thank you, Kimberly. You're welcome. I really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. 1995. But, you know, I, I, I'll tell you what, man. This one brother, the city loves you because you on every fuck. You've been on every board in the city, haven't you? You know, I was thinking about when I was driving over here, when we all first connected was 20... Two years ago, because right. it was right around 2000, uh, with the Impact Memphis Impact thing, Memphis, yep, and y'all did yep. the video for us, and you know we were all young professionals back then. Now we old professionals, but uh, I was like, damn, damn, we old. We old. You know what? And this is this, is, this, this is my statement that whenever people talk about they getting older, there's a lot of people that did not oh, get that absolutely. privilege. Yes, so I'm, I'm thankful every every day, every day that I'm here. I'm, I'm I wake up thankful every day. Yeah. Period. Period. Well, you, you know. know I, Go ahead. I was, as I was thinking about my 50th birthday, y'all know my brother didn't, he died two months to the day before his 50th. Yep. Oh, wow. Darnell, rest in peace, Darnell, man. And, that, um, was, that, that hurt. And that so really that's hurt. why on my 50th, I just want to just savor it, you right. know, not get consumed with a whole lot of running around and activity, but just spend it with the people that are most important. And, um, what a nice, you know, and just nice savor it. So. No, all this time, I didn't know that you, um, that you uh, smoke cigars. Oh, yeah. I had no idea you smoked it. So yeah. tell me about that cigar experience that you had, man. Man, you know, I was anti-cigar <clears throat> for a while until um, our good friend, a guy named Hulacy Britt. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, bumped into him. This was when Havana Mix was across from the Peabody, yep. mm -hmm. across 2nd Street from right. the Peabody. Yeah. And I was in there with some friends, and I wasn't smoking. And he was like, why are you not smoking? I said, man, I don't like the, you know, the aftertaste it, the next day and all that. He said, you need to try this brand called Kristoff. Oh, K-R-I-S-T-O-F-F. -F. Yes. He said, it doesn't leave an aftertaste. Mm -hmm. And so once I tried Kristoff, I was off to the races. And that was probably 20 years ago. Oh, wow. wow. And so uh, <laughs> since that time, you know, have, um, you know, just delved into a lot of different, you know, sort of, um, you know, brands and types of cigars, but Kristoff is sort of my, my That's staple. Go -to. That's my go-to. Go and I joke about this, but it's the honest God truth. <clears throat> I remember one night I was on my porch. I had a Kristoff and I had a glass of Merlot. And I reached this state of euphoria <laughs> that I've been trying to replicate for oh. 20 years. And I can't get back to that, oh. that euphoric state, but I keep trying. But, um, but yeah, yeah. You know, so that's basically, my that's, that, that's that's that that crack. Crack, yeah. I was, <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I was didn't want to go there, but uh, yeah, you're kinda... chasing that dragon. Yeah, that first. Yeah, yeah. I think everybody that first, first hit. One, yeah. yeah, that yeah, first hit. Everybody so, wants that first hit. I think the thing about cigars is that as you uh, as you grow older, you know, as you you know, uh, it, your palate uh, changes. 
like Fabian said, he before he he couldn't stand uh, the Bloody Marys, mm-hmm. but now he can drink them down. I mean, I, I I tried to drink one. I was in New Orleans. I had this. They brought it. I mean, it was a big presentation. I just couldn't get past the taste. I'm like, <laughs> ugh, I just that. I, I, you didn't I, taste the vodka. I mean, it was vodka in it, but I no. <laughs> I, I, like, I mean, but I like spicy food. And, and, I like you know. spicy food, but I just couldn't get that yeah. that that that. I mean, that uh, tomato that, juice. That, that co- cold tomato juice. Guy. Yeah, I just yeah. like. It was like as a kid, I didn't like broccoli, but I love broccoli today. Mm. So, yeah. So you know, so a, so yeah. just it's keep. I tell thing. people keep living. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> keep living in that. That's right. It'll, It'll change. change. It'll yeah. change. Yo, I mean, because I mean, come on now. At twenty some, we weren't drinking scotch. We weren't drinking cognac. We weren't drinking. Our, our palate couldn't take it. Mm-hmm. And again, I'm way too rich. I want to remind all you young people that's out there uh, taking shots of different liquors uh, that most liquors are meant to be savored and enjoyed, sipped and uh, like that. You yeah, know, but at, at, at twenty something, we want to get we want to get <laughs> lit. Quick. That's what they trying to do. We well, want to get lit. Now quick. You when you with your friends, them. when you with your friends, you can shoot whatever is, you want to. That but is I'm not saying, what them young people thinking. About. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> they trying to get it in so they can get it in. So what's your what's your go to when you when you smoking a good stick? Uh, Christoph Maduro. No, no, I'm, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. What's your go-to uh, alcohol? Man, you know, it's interesting. I don't really have a go-to. I would say um, Merlot, uh, Jack. I'm a pretty simple, straightforward, you know, kind yeah, of yeah. connoisseur of different, uh, you know, different liqu- liquors. But, liquors. Um, you know, I don't I don't have a staple that I go to, but... Mm-hmm. Um, it's well, gonna be. It's gonna be something. I can tell well, you. Well, I will say so. this: Isaac That's knew you was coming, <laughs> and he 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 brought out the the, the, the top shelf, didn't Man. you? Man, yeah, didn't he though? He, he, he gave me a out. couple of options too. Yeah, yeah. I gave yeah. him some options. Yeah, uh, some we option, had three right? three whiskeys to choose from, and he chose this uh, Scotch, this Scotch, this Caribbean Reserve Glen. What is it? Glenlivet. 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 Glen 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 uh, Eighteen twenty four single malt Scotch whiskey. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's actually uh, this. This whiskey was aged in uh, Scott. Car- right? Scott was <laughs> what's that? Scott whiskey, whiskey. <laughs> was aged in um, in the uh, mm. was it aged in? Oh, my bad, rum barrels <laughs> okay. right. down in the Caribbean. So it's got some uh, science yeah, too. so you know, the, to me when I when I first taste this, it's kind of got a, a, a kind of a test. sweet kind of a you you Let like oh man, this is this is good. But then when it hits you, when it hit the back of your throat, it's like uh, I'm here. <laughs> but 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 once it you had like medicine. once you had um, one glass, you don't hit it. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? It, yeah. it goes down so smooth. Does it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That first. That, that first. First. That first, 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 couple, the first sip. Yeah, first, couple first couple of sips, sips. But yeah, now it's like I'm this sipping shit, that. Yeah. Like I said, yeah. it, it tapped on my central nervous system. Right? <laughs> <laughs> tap, tap, tap tap. We're tap, here. Tap. We're here. As long as you don't tap out. Yeah, oh, you don't have can. to worry about that. As they say, I'm a you vet, like, not a pet. Right. So, uh, <laughs> like, I have matured yeah. in this game. <laughs> and I, I remember talking to you when, when you, because you actually came up to me. I Like I said, I didn't know you even smoked. You're like, hey, man, I want to get on the smoke. I'm like, oh, cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. And so we don't like getting people their cigar because we want you to try something new, mm-hmm. try something maybe it may have never had mm-hmm. before. So we went with a CAO. Yeah. Hold, hold up. Hold up. I, I, I didn't. Contacted my friends at Google. They gave me a whole uh, hey, Google. strip on the uh, tasting notes of this uh, whiskey. Okay, let's ahead, let's, let's talk about sure. that, and then we'll talk about the cigar. Uh, mm-hmm. You go ahead and pull a bottle of it since your phone out. No, uh, you need to pull up the cigar. That's why I was. Mm-hmm. That's why I was like, slow down. Let's let Kimberly pull up the cigar <laughs> while good. I'm reading. Fabian can pull it up. The drink. No, uh, I don't have my phone with me. Yeah. So it, it says the taste. Uh, of course, it's dark amber in color. Uh, rich caramel toffee notes followed by uh, mandarin orange, vanilla, and honeydew melon. Honeydew. Uh, hmm. That's the taste. Uh, on the nose, uh, notes of pear and red apple uh, meet a fabulous tropical twist of ripe bananas in syrup. Wow. I, I all tell I you what, smell I, is I, alcohol. <laughs> that is yeah, all I smell. You're inspiring me to get more into the science. Of- <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah. I, I will say this. So I taste everything but the pear. The, well, you the, taste the, the pears, honey. The pears, is, I do the, the honey. nose. The pears I, I do, on the nose. I do, the, the I, I do the taste nose. the honey because that's where that sweetness honey, comes from. I mean, the I thought, honey, do? Yeah, the honey. I do taste that. Mm. I do taste that. So I, mean, I, I taste the a, caramel note. Here's a million dollar question for y'all because my brother did this and I never got it, but I, I want to ask each one of you all. <laughs> do you smoke in your car driving down the street? No, I don't. I don't. Or will you? Not no. cigars. Cigar, that's what I meant. No. No. I don't. I, I, yeah. it, it's too hard to get out. <laughs> now, if the person already smokes in their vehicle, yeah, 
do you think you would you smoke in a vehicle with them? I'm just not a ride in the car and smoke mm-hmm. a cigar kind of guy. That's a lot. I, I mean, that's easy. to me, I want to be relaxed. If I'm sitting in the smoke, that's pizza, what I want to do. I want to sit somewhere, you know, because this, this is what we always joke about. A good cigar may take you an hour to finish it. Mm-hmm. A lot of, th- I mean, Memphis ain't that damn. I mean, now if you get stuck on a damn long expressway in a wreck, but uh, I can't think of no place that it take you an hour to get to. Yeah. yeah. So no, I wanna, I wanna sit and. and that's and just not relaxing to me. It's not, when I yeah. smoke a cigar, I wanna be chill. You need to be concentrating on you if you in Memphis driving. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need to be trying to be yeah. too so, relaxed. So that's what Darnell would do. Man, I would get in his car and it would be a, a full of smoke, <laughs> and he'd just be sitting there. What's oh, up, cigar man? Cigar smoke. <laughs> cigar smoke. <yeah. laughs> what was his go-to stick? <laughs> oh man. Oh gosh! You you remember? I can't remember. He had so many. He always had a you know a plastic bag and a or a little case full of different options. But he liked Rocket Patel. He liked Cohiba. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know the kind of brands that everybody knows. Right, he was right, right. In, Into that, but he was a mainstay at um, Tinder, a, Tinderbox, Tinderbox on Main, on Main Street. Street. That yeah, was his spot, crying. man. That yeah. was his spot. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I like I like the tender. I mean, every every time yeah, you like go there, you, you you really yeah. see a bunch of people that you've seen before and all that. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I yeah. mean, it, it it's it's um the cigar world is is just so amazing to me because mm-hmm. there's so many different things that you can learn about cigars. Yeah, it really is. Mm-hmm. All you gotta do is be willing to learn it. Absolutely. And it's an environment for everybody. Yeah, but you know, but the, I think the, that's the, the, the interesting thing part. because of the prices, it weeds a lot of people out. You think so? I think so. Oh. I think because you don't you 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 don't see a lot of bullshit happening in cigar bars. Oh no, ain't nobody yeah. going there for that. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It weeds a lot of people out because mm-hmm. you, first first of all, you go in and you eventually you better smoke something, mm-hmm. or they're gonna kick your ass out, mm-hmm. 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 or they'll charge you a twenty dollar cutting fee, <laughs> <laughs> sitting fee, or whatever that yeah, was. I just saw yeah, and, and they ain't yeah. selling black and miles. They ain't no. selling that shit. No. And so you go in there. I mean, and you did. Typically, you're dealing with business people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we met you know, some cool in some people. way, shape, or form. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, they, a, they just uh, need a moment to chill. Yeah, yeah. I've been, uh, I guess, even going back to when I first started, uh, sort of a Havana loyalist. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, Rob and Rob Junior, and um, mm. you know, that's probably been the place where I go to smoke. Mm-hmm. Um, that's but a I good live, place to go. I live good not, for, I live in Midtown, and so I would always stop into Madison Tobacco. Oh yeah, I used to oh, love yeah. that place. That and used I didn't to be know funny. They, in I just yeah. driving down Union one day, I it's saw closed. they just shut down. Yeah. I was yeah. like, man, it's and a lot of stuff on Union. Old shut school, down. Too, yeah, they were super old. They was old school, mm-hmm. yeah, boy. Yeah, black and white TV sitting on the thing <laughs> when you walk in. They were nice. They were very knowledgeable, and, but and they didn't. They didn't care about the decor at all. At all, nope. You come in here and chill with us. This is what it is. What it get? Yeah, we're not trying to impress you mm-hmm. yeah now they, they were now they could impress and, and, you with but, their knowledge and, and, and then their prices knowledge. their cigars said that because they were normally two three dollars cheaper than anybody yeah. else true. Mm-hmm. true so they were real sick they just want you to come, come in, in there and have a smoke have a smoke mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. conversation yeah, yeah. yeah. one day I, I went in and sat and sat down with those guys and uh some of them conversations <laughs> mm-hmm. it was interesting i just, just let them have it mm-hmm. y'all go right yeah. in. I, it was interesting i i think i was uh talking about something and then I just sat down. They had the television on. I think something Trump was on there. They weren't they weren't necessarily Trump loyalists, but you know, I could tell that I was probably not in my <laughs> not in your element. I went around my folks, that's what I said. <laughs> probably need to need to hit tap tap you it know, out on that ashtray and get yeah. on that door pretty quick. But but you know, I wasn't just no punk. Careful. I wasn't no punk and I, I said my piece and then I left. So okay. <laughs> major presence felt. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'll tell you what, let's take a break because I can't find this damn cigar. Let's see if we can find the uh the review on this cigar or, or, or at least we can talk about it intelligently and then uh, let's come back. I, I need you need to refresh your drink anyway. Man. Yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, we'll be right back on more on Spork Smoke Podcast. All right, y'all. We back. We Kimberly. She Kimberly went straight to it. She got this app, y'all. Oh, I gotta get it. We gotta that, get that. that app. She can Google it and, and bam, up comes a cigar. Just kind of like my wine mm. app. So I know cigar scanner. 
Cigar yeah. scanner. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna do that. Just take Y'all a picture of it. Me tonight. I, I know, know, man. Just take yeah. a picture of it, and um, it will locate it for you. That's so tell us about yeah. this smoke, Kimberly. Uh, its origin is Honduras. It is a full strength. Y'all feel like it's a full strength cigar? I don't oh, think yeah. so. It's yeah. kind of medium to me. Yeah, it kind of seems kind of mm-hmm. medium. Okay, the wrapper is Brazilian. The binder is Honduras. The filler is Dominican Republic and Colombia. It is handmade, as they all say. Um, this is uh, a serious tobacco from five countries um, that were used to produce the bold smoke that pays homage to the most uh, riveting series in the television series, The CAO Sopranos. Oh, did you know that? Oh. I did not know that. You're welcome. It's, it's a dark, <laughs> compelling, and, ri- and is rich with character. <laughs> <clears throat> this smoke pleases the palate with notes of straight coffee beans, cocoa, and black cherry. Okay. Cocoa you know what? Beans, I, I, I can see that. And black cherry. I can see the black cherry because it's that that uh, when you when you drinking a um a old fashioned and you use those black cherries, mm-hmm. it oh. it kind of it kind of reminds okay. me of that. Okay. Well, I'm not ashamed to say. Mm-hmm. Don't I say you've never had an old fashioned. No, I never that. watched the episode of. Oh, okay. Okay. I, okay. You and me, I never yeah. watched. So what? I, I, what, I, I, I never watched an episode I, of I The Wire. Yeah. Oh, you watched The Wire? I never watched. I never watched The Wire. You can go on HBO and watch The Wire. Was 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 really about us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was about it was about it was African American themed. Yeah, yeah. That's Sopranos what was not. Yeah. yeah. So that's right. that's the difference. But mm-hmm. I, I right. you know, and I, I I joke, but this is the truth. I've never watched a, a complete episode of any of the uh, Godfathers. Oh my God! What? Oh my God! Never watched them. What? Oh my Lord! I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, Ike. I got the little trilogy set, and you need to watch it. And I only watched the first. Time. <gasps> oh my god! Now I've watched. I've started watching, but usually I start watching and I start doing too something long. else. Yeah, that's what. Man. Whoa, whoa! It's, it's, whoa, whoa. You, no, the first this, one. This you have to. You have to really watch it and and give you it your undivided attention. attention because. Mm-hmm. All of that do. stuff is connected, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a lot of because times, because they can go back and yeah, pull he'll go back and he'll say something. The yeah. dom will say something, and he'll he'll set stuff into motion. And if you ain't watching. You'd be, be like, lost. well, damn, how did them horse head get into oh, their bed with the guy? You gotta pay attention. <laughs> now, you got to pay attention. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so that, yeah. That, that's, that's, that's my, that's why. You can't multitask yeah. and watch the dog. Yeah. Dogs. You yeah. don't ever go against the, boy, you got to go back. I mean, yeah, man, we all know, we all, I know all the sayings and everything. Not just you the know, sayings, but it's such, so uh, many it's life the plots, lessons. It's the twists, it's the Life lessons. So is that one of your favorite movies? Oh, man, yeah. I just can't even. What about Scarface? Scarface. Yes, I discovered all of those when I was uh, probably on the tail end of college. So now you know, let me ask you this: I say watch the, them now. You get me for a the business world and the cutthroat nature yeah. of uh, that. That is true. Business now, and politics. Do um, you know? Have you seen the King King of New York? No, I haven't. What? I haven't. I haven't. Who is in there? That's an old man. School you from got like the nineties. Man, something. you got Lawrence yeah. Finsburne. That's yeah. back when he was Larry. Yeah. You stupid. The King of New yeah. York. The King I, of New York. Was, with, uh, was Jeff Goldblum in that too? No, no, no that's the that's other one. Uh, uh, undercover cover. That's, uh, or some cover. No, no, deep cover. Deep cover. Deep cover. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Best thing song ever. Is in the King of New York. No, it's in Deep Cover. Deep oh, Deep Cover. cover. Yeah. Okay. Snoop, Snoop and, uh, and Dre. Yeah. Uh-huh. Doom, 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 doom. Tonight's the night. I we don't need New York. I got to go get on. Keep, 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 keep your day job. Keep your day job. Trust me, I am. Keep your day job. So question for y'all. I was hanging out with some family last year, and uh, this one cousin who considers himself Cigar aficionado. Don't they? There's always one. Always always one. Said that once it gets down to the band, he throws the cigar away. Boo! Well, that's when, and, 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 and I'm, that's I'm, when he's done. Well, this is what I heard from. He other, throw the band away or the whole cigar? The whole cigar? thing. Once it gets down about nah. here, uh, he he's missing whole. the whole. Here, here's the funny thing. Most people take the band off because they don't want nobody to see what they're smoking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I yeah. just that just puts everybody yeah. on right an equal playing everybody field. Everybody on an equal playing field. Well, also because once you start, you don't want the band to start burning, and that's what you taste. So yeah, and as, the band as you get uh, further down the cigar, the, cigar the taste changes. Changes. It changes. It changes. Taste changes. Mm-hmm. So, the profile and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So he probably missing out on a he lot. He missing of good, out on a good, good little that last. I'm it, sorry, melancholy. What did you call it early? Uh, I can't remember what you said. Your fork. Yes, he's missing out on that euphoric moment. And you know what? And 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 I I've 
seen uh, some people they have these uh, cigar picks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That they'll they'll pick it like right down here. So yeah. they can. And get so it. they're not even holding it. So they they pretty much smoke it until that joint gone. Like a roach. <laughs> yeah. Man. Burn in your finger. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'm one that'll that'll be down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> you know how good it finger, is. Finger like, chips yeah. on fire, but uh, <laughs> yeah, they he get my missing out. Worth. He missing out. He be, yeah, he really yeah. is missing mm-hmm. out. He's missing out big on it. And he a cigar aficionado. <laughs> That's what he calls him. No, he's just a nato. There's always one. He's just a nato. There's always one. He's a nato. <laughs> Self-proclaimed. 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 It's Again. all good. It's all good. Hey, we've been doing this show for t- almost two years, and we ain't not fini- aficionados. Yeah. Our, yeah, but that's why we bring in experts because we our information be kind of like. Well, Google is our expert yeah. too. We uh, we'll Google something in a heartbeat. Right, 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 right. <laughs> get, get Google to tell us what they uh, like about it, and that's it. And that's it. Yep. Yeah. Give you the notes and everything. We, yeah. we do a little education. We, do, we try to do a little education. Yeah, we, we try. Don't, we, yeah. we don't want people to. And we the pairings. We like to try to, you know, give but, people I mean, because we're, we're learning, too. Yeah, That's the we don't thing. Know. We're learning, too. We don't know, we don't know. shit. Don't it's ask a me. journey, not a guided tour. Right. Don't hey, ask me. Hey, so, we, we started this show simply because we was in Ike's backyard smoking cigars. Yeah. <laughs> So Dang, there, there's a, there was a guy uh, that we uh, did this uh, cigar and bourbon tasting, and he talked about this retro hailing, where you basically smoke the cigar as and and you don't it still doesn't go into your lungs, but you smoke it where you ingest it and it comes right back out your nose. Mm-mm. Like me and Fabian no, tried, that's 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 we that's almost that's died. Yeah, yeah we that's almost that's death, died. Man. That's just yeah. like that was the end of the smoke yeah. podcast. <laughs> that's just like, no, hey, thank you. You might as well one. take some bleach and just throw it back there, man. Well, that's like, so much. And then they, they, it's it's like you have to do it to get the effect. You yeah. have to keep doing to get past the yeah. dying stage. Yeah. yeah. If you can, I, I think it you know, for you me. PTSD behind it. <laughs> it wasn't I'm like, for me. Oh, I'm, I'm watching y'all about to die. I'm like, oh, Lord. <laughs> As they say, that's a hard no. <laughs> that's a hard no. <laughs> but, you know, a lot of people say that you won't get the true profile of the cigar unless you do that. Hey, I'm going to read that's it. That's why I'm going to read about it. <laughs> I can't stand y'all. <laughs> Google. That's why I'm going to go to Google and let Google hey, tell me what, the, hey, what I should man. be uh, tasting. Man. man. Hell no. Yeah, go go ahead and buy that oxygen tank now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Like, to me, it almost puts me in the mindset of like if you inhaled the the smoke. You know how when you if you inhale the smoke of a cigar, oh, yeah. it instantly makes you sick. Man. Mm-hmm. No, when you walk into a place and people are smoking cigarettes, oh, to yeah, me yeah. that's like that's death. Whole, yeah. I'm like, God. Yeah. And then that shit stay with you. Yeah. yeah. Hey, man, yeah. That, you can tell them a, a, cigar, a cigarette smoker. Man, yeah. that shit just stays. Yeah. I grew up in a family of cigarette smokers. Everybody did. My mom had Virginia five Williams. brothers and sisters. Uh-huh. Four of them were smokers, mm-hmm. so well, every occasion, house full of smoke. So. What, what, what did they smoke? Virginia Slims, oh, uh, man. Newports. Um, <laughs> cool, cool. One hundred. Let me get a couple Maverick, of these cool. Maverick Menthol one hundred. Oh, oh Ooh, God. Lord, have mercy. Yeah, I got so many. I mean, I've. I can tell you so many stories. Us getting sent to the store to buy cigarettes. Yeah. Oh, you, know, you, you, you five year old, yeah. five year old. Hey, let me get a cotton of cigarettes. Mm-hmm. My mama said, "Give me." It was so different back then. Mm-hmm. You can't go to the store now. Tell me, give me one cigarette. Man, can, I, that, that, that was my question. I was going to ask. Can you go to now? I know you I can't know. go to most stores, but if you go into to a store in the hood, I wonder, can you still go in there and get two loose cools? Yeah, I bet you can. You can, I bet you can. Two you loose can get that over. You can get that over Roxy's. Yeah, go oh, really? Yeah. 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 You got to remember, uh, everybody ain't got five dollars for a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> hell no, no that's ten dollars. That's ten dollars, man. That's ten dollars. You crazy? Shit, you paying a whole lot. A lot, of people, a lot of people quit smoking. <laughs> they like ten because hey. if you smoke, think about that. If you smoke a pack a day, and you know what, you can't even come so my mother-in-law she lives in new york when she comes to memphis she racks up she she racks up but you can only still take back to new york a certain amount because even when you Uh go to check through tsa Mm -hmm. if you got too many cigarettes oh uh, man we need you to stand over here to the side no shit you can't you can't like take cases back yeah and and, and i don't hold me real quick back in the day people would go to arkansas Mm -hmm. and they used to have people that would pull you over and if they caught you with too many cigarettes, because basically you didn't pay the taxes in uh, Tennessee. That's it. what it's about. They all, yeah. everybody got Everything their money. Everybody the got the money. They you got the money. My, my, my aunt got me. My aunt got me so bad. Mm-hmm. So we, I'm in Chicago, and I ain't know how much a pack of squares was. <laughs> Not squares. Can you get me some cigarettes? Yeah, I'll teach you. I'm going there. <laughs> 
Let me get a pack of Newport's uh, 100. That'd be 10.99. Yeah, no, 17. dollars I'm like, what? Ooh. Ooh. I say, hey, don't ask me for no more damn cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> this hey. is your first, and your last time me buying you some damn cigarettes. So watch this right here. This is a, this is my <laughs> grandmother because my grandma. We had a, I had a cousin in St. Louis, and whenever we go to St. Louis, he would be like, Auntie. Buy me a pack of cigarettes. And she said, baby, I don't support other folks' uh, habits. <laughs> You're going to need to get support, your own. Yeah, yeah I don't yeah. support other people's <laughs> habits. So, all right, y'all, who are we going to get a smoke to? I don't know. I thought you had somebody. We do. Okay. Who? Who we got? I- okay, so my, this, all right, I'm, I'm putting this out for, 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 uh, Review. I want y'all to agree that we're going to do it on this person. People that have, didn't take their Christmas trees down. Boo. Or people that. <laughs> People that didn't take First of all, I'm them. not gonna I'm not gonna give those people the smoke because a lot of sometimes people actually pay for that service to get their Christmas lights put up on no, their house. No, I, I didn't say hot lights. I what said Christmas trees. Mm. Uh, mm. Who, who keeps you? Can't, well, oh, first yeah. of all, you, you trying? How do you even know? Hold on, hold on. How do you even know? Well, how do you know? Y'all well, got y'all somebody, Christmas tree. It's your somebody house. Somebody here told me that they left their Christmas tree up <laughs> <laughs> all year. And that, but you know what? The, the, the story, the story behind it, she said every month they went and they put something on the tree. Oh, my God. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have my my, my couple my friends. Now, they just take them here? down to the basement. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got oh, Mr. God. We got Mr. Oh, Kelly oh, here, baby oh, boy. He made it. He came in. Boy, this ain't nothing but a pimp. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at him, man. <laughs> Why you ain't that ready? This ain't nothing but a pimp. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, not, that's, not this, cool, is, this, cool this is this is this is this is this is the Doug McGlower right here. Yeah, he is. <laughs> oh, oh, that man. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get Randy on here. We got to talk about this Doug McGlower appointment. No, we, hey, 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 Randy want to keep his job. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Don't do that man like that. <laughs> <laughs> that man do not want here. So, so let's go back to this. Clock. Let's go back to this 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 smoke giving. I you you pick some interesting people to get a smoke to. So right. one, one, my, no, hold on, one hold time, up. one time. Let's let's go over your let's go over your thing. <laughs> oh my god! Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Not the people, the, the earth, the earth, the sun, no, the earth. Mother Nature. He gave the shit to Mother Nature. I'm like, how the fuck you give the smoke to Mother Nature? She was hot as hell. It was too hot out here. Damn, and then one hot. time, one time, I, you gave it to. End up giving it to yourself because you put some aftermarket shit on your car. God, that y'all, y'all gave it to me. I didn't put that. <laughs> no, I didn't, I you didn't told give myself for yourself. Hey, 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 they say look, you listen to somebody long enough, the truth will come out. The truth will come out. So y'all going back into the annals? Of, they are. They yeah. are. Oh, don't you try to they use are. no big words they on are. us today? They the they annals. Are. The annals. Of y'all going into the archives? Oh, you go to the archives. So, yeah, the so watch this right here. We just okay. trying to show you the if history. y'all don't want to get a smoke to people who put their Christmas trees up before Thanksgiving, who do y'all want to get a smoke to? Herschel. I mean, Herschel. Herschel Walker. Walker. Oh, who already gave a smoke to Herschel? Again. He can okay. Get, give it to him a second time. Okay. As much as he talks, okay. At any time. How about this? I want to encourage the people of Georgia, of Arkansas, to Arkansas. get out and vote. Of Arkansas? Yeah. There's a reason for that. There's a reason yes. for that. Yes. So Arkansas has on their ballot, yeah. they're trying yeah. to legalize, legalize uh, marijuana. marijuana. <laughs> and, <laughs> I knew it wasn't nothing else beyond. <laughs> I knew it wasn't nothing serious. Listen, I need y'all to get out and vote. <laughs> Self-interest. <laughs> Self-interest. But you know what? Right. I'm going to go with Herschel Walker because every I'm time he speaks, it's, some, it's, it's some. something new. I'm gonna actually give it to Brian Kemp too. I'm gonna give it to him again. Why you just cancel the debates? Just don't even debate. You know, no, no. Here's, here's the thing mm. that got me. Herschel Walker said, "I debate Hers- I, I I will debate Obama and tear him up." I'm like, you ain't ready for that heat, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, so on, so so Obama was uh, speaking. I think he was in Philadelphia. He was somewhere. Mm-hmm. This lady said, "Ooh, you sure look fine." He oh, looked yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, he looked yeah. back and just smiled. He was like, yeah. "Hey, hey, <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all get her again. <laughs> yeah, y'all take her to the car. Her. <laughs> y'all stupid. Y'all stupid. Yeah, Michelle be sitting there waiting on oh, your ass. She give you that look, boy. She, she <laughs> from she, she she from Chicago." <laughs> Now she the told her, she yelled out, you finer than a mug. <laughs> that's what she, that's what she that yelled out. That's, exactly that's what, what she yelled out. Yeah, you finer than a mug. You that's right. Than a mug. <laughs> and he just looked back and smiled like. <laughs> like and he asked the crowd, did y'all hear what she said? <laughs> she, <laughs> she said, 
<laughs> Boy, yeah, you know I'm what? It you know what? A, a, a lot of a lot of the presidents they they went in for the terms and they aged. Now now Obama did age, he turned mm-hmm. gray a little bit, but mm-hmm. he still got that swag going mm-hmm. on. He still got you know I I I'm like to think he's drinking some nice uh, cognac every night, chilling, mm-hmm. smoking him a square, whatever he's smoking down there in Hawaii. Man, he's just chilling, man. Yeah. He's just kicking it. He's like, <laughs> hey, man, those millions he's made. Yeah, help too, he's man. like, uh, yeah, yeah, that ain't gonna hurt. Uh, they want me to come where? They want me to come where? They want me to do what? Uh, what, what, what kind of money they paying? <laughs> no, Obama Nothing. don't need no money. So I, I'm, 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 I'm watching his, uh, I'm watching his story. He, no, since not, he not only that. So apparently his dad was tied into some, he was a uh, some kind of big is oil. This a, is this the Judge Joe Brown show story? Is this, no, that's Judge what Joe he Brown? told us. He, he said that. Yeah. The oh. trust fund. I yeah, I don't know if I trust. Yeah, that I don't shit. know if it's true, but if it is, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, give me two dollars. Obama, Obama, straight either way. Either way, straight mm. away. Either, either way. way. Either way. He, Netflix made him a straight man. Yeah, yeah they got a lot going on. <laughs> okay, so for the smoke, we gave it to you, Kemp. Yeah, Herschel Walker. Herschel Walker. For the second time. For the For second, second time. For the third time. We can't keep up. <laughs> and the people Why that don't put, you just stop going on TV? And the people that, <laughs> that, that put their damn Christmas trees up before Thanksgiving. Now, I'm not giving them. I'm not giving them. I mean, that's their prerogative. You don't know. That might be the only happiness so that people get. I thought you said get. the people who keep them up after Christmas. Both that is what you said. Both of them. Okay. So they get to smoke it. They keep it up after Christmas. Listen, and if they already putting it up. I like Christmas So what you do? Put yours up the night I put before mine, Christmas? No, I put it up after Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. And, and then, you take it and down then on it's the gotta day be da- No, it's got to be down the before the New Year. It's got to be down. You don't know what happens. See, I take mine down after New Year's. Yeah, yeah you don't I'm, know what. You don't know. That's like be brighten before, up them man. people day. I've, I've spent that 11 o'clock hour many a New Year's Eve taking that tree down. See, my yeah. wife hates this shit. She's like, oh, we got to lose the lights. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm trying to get this shit off before it gets super cold. Now. Yeah, damn, unless you're going to climb your ass up there and get it off yourself. <laughs> and the answer is always, well, go ahead and take it down. Go ahead. Mm. I, you know what? Whatever you all want to do, your Christmas tree can be it's up your whenever. It's your house. It's your yeah. house. Don't, don't hey. listen to Isaac. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway. But you know what? You know what? We still on, giving, on, on. I'm still giving the smoke to to all y'all that they did come not for take you. Come for me. Bring it. No, no. Bring I, 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 I want to say this. I wanna, before on. before we go, uh, first of all, I want to thank you, uh, Daryl, for coming. Thank on. y'all. Well, thank you for working it out with your yes. assistance. Yeah. yeah. Thank yeah. you for working there, everybody, getting your people to come back. With our <laughs> right. People to get with our people. And you coming on the show. We appreciate that. <laughs> and, but I, and we sent a special bat signal up for Randy. And we sent the capital symbol in the, in the air. Look yeah. And then bam, red yeah, shows up. We threw some red shit. Yeah. 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 Look at the colors on. Look at that watch, y'all. Look at that watch. The sun. The sun. Yeah, boy. And he had Randy on his damn shit. And these your friends. Y'all said to throw me on his damn shit. And these your friends. That's all I'm saying. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all missed the watch. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. You missed the monogram shirt. Red and white watch. Randy. Randy. You coordinated <laughs> today. <laughs> you you ultra coordinated today. Hey, hey, is the today. inside red too? Pull, open the I just got a. I got oh! oh! <laughs> <laughs> John Witherspoon. Hey, John Witherspoon hey, is hey, giving you gap yeah, from hell. Yeah, yeah, he is. Not, he said you should have stopped that. But you kept I going. Can, I cannot. I wouldn't even show it to him. <laughs> hey, you know what? If I was you, I wouldn't even show it to them. They some busters. Oh, but you know what? On, on, on a serious oh, note, on a, se- on a serious <laughs> note, I want I want to say rest in peace to my favorite Migos. Oh. Yeah. Take off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean that. that Honestly, he was my favorite one. He was the only one in that How could, could you rap tell to no me. Bar? I just, well, he just had a sound to him. They all look alike because they, they are because they all related. Mm. Listen, dad oh, is okay. dad is and mamas. If you uh, you know take your kids out to the gun range so they can learn Ooh, how I to went shoot. Sunday. I went Sunday. Yeah, <laughs> I I'm saw, ready. We saw that. Ready. Listen, saw that. listen, seriously, because you know when I used to go to the gun range, I would see. Uh, the uh, others with their uh, little kids nah, out there. For real, though. They, for real. They, they, they be out there. They and, and, there. And, and here's the problem is that a lot of the, 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 the uh, African-American kids don't have respect for guns because they the have parents. never shot a gun right. and they don't understand no, the they power. They shoot guns on No, no, on, no. Uh, on, yeah, on, but that's what I'm on, saying. On but, but if you go and you go to a gun range and you shoot and you feel that gun pop back in your hand, or right. you or you don't have earplugs in, and it almost deafens you. Yep. that right there will make you respect respect uh, respect the guns. And I think that's the that's the problem is a lot of kids never grow, never have any respect 
for the power behind a, a bullet and a gun, and they think it's a toy. Like, they just watching, like, a video game. And it's not. And it's not. That's so, a lot of power yeah. in your hand. I have yeah. mad respect for gun owners. There was a fear that I had, and there was something that I decided in 2022 I was going to, you know, not have that fear anymore. Yeah. I'm not afraid of them. I know I, I, the education is very important. So you know what you're doing and why you doing it. And the revolution was televised January 6th. I don't know if y'all saw that. Y'all you know, better get man, ready. I, I've yet to acquire a gun. So, and all I have is, you remember Hacksaw Butchery? Yeah, you got, the, you got the two by four? I got these two suit bones. You don't right? got two by four? You don't need some more suit. Oh, Butchery, not Jim. Okay, yeah, oh, yeah. Butchery, yeah, I got yeah, these so. two suit bones. <laughs> yeah, you're going to need some more shit. You're going to need some more. You're going to need some more. You're going to need some more. You need more than that. Because they were shooting all counter. It's so easy. So you said they're not coming with suit bones. They're not coming with artillery. It's no meet us under the tree shit. No. Hey, so it was interesting when that when that idiot was riding around Memphis shooting people. Mm-hmm. I get home, my wife comes out. I got her a gun and took her to the to the um shooting range and everything. The dude came up and said, Ma'am, can you stop shooting the ceiling? <laughs> <laughs> so she came out the house uh-huh. with the gun in one hand and the clip in the other one. That ain't gonna mm. work. I was like, what are you doing? Mm. Well, they, they go together. I, I, I say, well, you know, I figured I had time to. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you, a, kind of you ain't got that kind of time. My sister, mm. she, like mm. her gun, she's a she's a gun owner, but her gun is locked in her safe. And we're like, okay, so what you gonna do? Tell the robbers, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> let me go get my gun or whoever. Mm. Let me go. Yeah, let me go get the combination. Right. Uh-huh. Let me go run right over here real quick. Like if, if I hear the alarm open, if you know the, the alarm going off because the door is open, and I'm getting the gun. That's no, it. it's, it's, it's she just if you 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 gotta you gotta just do it right too. Yeah, yep. it's like and once you start to have families and stuff, you gotta really you gotta you gotta you can't think about. Your own safety. You got to think about theirs. Yeah. So last time we're going to remind you guys, get out and vote. Vote. Yes. Please. No vote, no voice. So period. next week is what? November yeah. 8th. November, November 8th. 8th. November 8th. Okay. November 8th. Get, yeah. out get, out get out and vote. Get out and vote. Uh, we need the weed in Arkansas. <laughs> I think early voting is over tomorrow, right? Is it? I think so. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Early tomorrow. voting is the last day to early vote is tomorrow. So if you if you know but you can't make get it out next week. Get out and vote. So let me just just tell this story because I know. We don't want to hear Ooh. Okay, well then. We'll I'm finish. just saying, come on, don't come. No, that's good. Isaac, people, don't Mm-mm. come for me. Come on. Mm-mm. Come Mm-mm. on, tell us. No, I'm good. I'm good. Right. So anyway, I got so it. I got it. He's going to send it anyway. I got a telephone call today from this guy, black guy, that's running for a mayor, and not running for a governor in the state of Tennessee. He is a, a libertarian, yes. He was a libertarian. Mm-hmm. So I had already got the, the word that he didn't have no money. And I, I don't care. I don't, he ain't got to never call me. So he wants to do, he's like, man, I want to shoot this commercial on the green screen. I want the green screen to be like the White House. I want mm-hmm. to look like the Oval Office and for stuff the like that. Yeah, he's running for governor. So I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, we can do that. I said, what's your budget? He said, well, you know, uh, you know, I'm a small candidate. So right then I was like, we threw... <laughs> Because <laughs> cause he he basically wanted me to give him to do this commercial for free. Oh, you he for, your, for get... exposure, so you could get exposure. Spoke, yeah, he's Crazy. like, yeah, you know, you, it's gonna it's gonna blow you up too. I'm like, bro, I said, Listen, we already been blown up. I, yeah, I've been blown up twenty years ago. I'm like, I'm I'm good. I'm like, nah. Hey. I said we can't do it for free. I said I, 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 he could have at least offered to barter with you. Like, like what? what he had? Yeah, what he had? He ain't know. offered. He that. owns a, some kind of restaurant where they sell salads or something. I don't know, but somebody yeah. already gave me the yeah. Somebody gave me the hands up. So yeah. So so I had you remember Danny Drew? Danny Drew had the best comeback for that. He said, he said, hey man, um, man, you gonna get a lot of exposure for this. And Danny, Danny was old. Hey, listen, that man, shit, man, I've been exposed to the point I got cancer. I don't need no motherfucking exposure. (laughs) (laughs) Exposure. That's so funny when people say that. Yeah. Yeah, You can get the credit. Oh, you want me work like a dog and get the credit? No, I'm good. I'm good. And then then I said, well, when you trying to do this? Uh, He said, well, I need to do it tomorrow. <laughs> I'm like, bro. We, I said we don't work like that. I said if I, I'm booked up for the next two Sounds weeks. Sounds like I said, the, the yeah. Fabian Matthews approach. Mm-hmm. To, uh, <laughs> I'm booked up. Mm-hmm. I'm booked. Can you come yeah. in tomorrow? Yeah, you come sure. in tomorrow, man. You can't. Yeah. Shit. I mean, he trying to say because y'all yeah. got a personal relationship. Trust and believe, and, and I because I've known good. Fabian for twenty plus years. If you got enough money. Anything, everything else will get moved out the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you got some money. You All you gotta do is say you but VIP. But you ain't got no money. <laughs> <laughs> what you need? Nothing All right, man. Yeah, yeah. I'll brother. tell you what. You come to the office uh, tomorrow. So, so basically, that was how I, do, I blew him off. I said, yeah. I said, let me check with Fabian and see what's the availability Ooh, of the studio. Fabian and, don't even and, know nothing about and, it. And, uh, and hit me back. So when he called back, 
I sent him the voicemail. He didn't leave a message, so I think oh, we, I think no. we through. No, oh, well, y'all y'all missed one final announcement, and that's Daryl's birthday is on Monday. Oh there, yeah, we already talked about that. So I tell you what, in your wrap up, I tell you what, you want us to wrap it up and start off with you know what? DC, DC, hold on, we gonna do another toast. One more toast for Daryl. We gonna do another toast. Another toast for Daryl. Randy, you want to get in this toast? Oh lord, get you a cup, man. Y'all ready? Want to get on camera? Hey, make sure you get him. Hey, he went that way. <laughs> he over there. When he come, when he hey, come go, back go, over this yeah, way. Yeah, over there. Over right there. Yeah, right, right there. there. Right there. Go down. Go down. Go if down. you can get down. I know it's a tight suit. Get down. No, no, no. The draw. That's your partner there, man. That's your partner, too, see? It's coordinated. It's coordinated. <laughs> this show so low down. No, 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 Randy. No, the drawer. No, the drawer, man. The drawer. Open, so, open, 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 open the open 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 uh, Damn. This right show so low down. Right there. There you go. Just find anything, man. Shit. Get you something that say we got some red on, so you can see yeah, a coordinate. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, man. Right there. Y'all hard on the news, man. Y'all hard on the news. Oh, man, we ain't getting no real no. sliding glass. Randy, Randy, wait a minute. Y'all see Randy suit? Look. <laughs> Coordinated, man. Coordinated. Coordinated. All right. All right, Smoke family, we're going to give a special out to Daryl. My head hurts. His special birthday happy is birthday. Monday. 50th. 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 